We're Laura and Brian, also known as a couple of Quins. We love our city of Dayton, old houses, and dogs. We're currently putting the finishing touches on our most recent project. We've nicknamed it The Fed. We hope you'll follow along to see what's next. Spiders in the house. Spiders don't really bother me, but I also don't want them in the house. I, but I don't want to kill it, so we're gonna to try to catch it yes. and move it outside. Here's the little guy. Put your hand in there for scale. There you go. It's coming towards you. Kind of was. Jumping spiders are brave little guys. Or stupid, not sure. Look at this pro. I, I think he's this done this before. Too. All right. See him? He's just a little guy. There we go. Not so little. Pretty big. <laughs> Got a surprise for you. Oh no. Oh, come on. Ding that. Frickin' stinker. Did you fit under the gate? Come on. Come on. I would like to introduce you to a new member of our family. Say hello to Baron. At least that's what we think we're going with. His name was Baron when we picked him up and we kind of like the name. There's something about naming your own dog that we really like. But Baron's a really cool name, so it's kind of hard to beat. We have kind of a funny adoption story with him. You're gonna have to check it out next week to really get the full story. But basically we were in the middle of filming next week's episode. We're doing another house tour. And uh, he just kind of came along. There's a Pete. Hey buddy. <laughs> I 
Lara picked up some rugs today. This will be way more interesting than my electrical. It's a game. Roll it. Push it. Oh. And he's distracted by Pete. Pete's got to see what the action's all about. Watch out, bud. Look out. We're coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, pal? Does it look good? Little Baron is five months old. Five, five and a half months yeah, old? Yeah, he's almost six months old. September 6th, 18th. September 18th, he'll be six months old. His birthday is March 18th. Okay. And, and he, he is our to together second so miniature sure. schnauzer. Yeah, we mentioned in an earlier episode that we lost Alfie, our miniature schnauzer, during quarantine, it was last year during, I don't know, June-ish, June time frame, and that was very, very hard. And we were not planning on getting another dog. Honestly, I thought it was kind of nice just having Pete winding down with an old dog. <laughs> and then this opportunity just kind of came out of thin air, and we thought, well... We feels couldn't like really was, say no. Yeah, it just feels like it was meant to be. And he's been nothing but an absolute joy so far. Schnauzers are pretty awesome dogs. Yeah. We highly recommend them. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back to the Fed Guys. Today, John's helping us out with the wood around this uh, opening that we cut. Got all this nice wood from Requarth here in Dayton. Oh, by the way, we filmed a whole episode about Requarth and how they helped us recreate our woodwork. If you're interested in that, it's our episode 11, a Dayton gem, Requarth. And uh, John is a very precise woodworker, but I'm not the best, so... We're having John do the woodworking. We want it to look perfect, and we know John can do that. So when he's done, hopefully this will look just like that. While John's doing work on the trim work, I'm back to work on the dishwasher. Going to get the electrical hooked up. And then I have to complete the circuit for all the electrical downstairs in the basement. So, that'll be fun. Taking shape. What do you think, John? Come together. Corner pieces are in. Beautiful. 
John finished up the woodwork a little bit ago. Looks incredible. I just need to touch it up with stain. Probably put some bry wax on it. You can see this is the kitchen side. And then when you go through to the dining room, it switches to a different style. So that's all for this week's episode. We're looking forward to next week, hopefully getting some more work done. Although with this little guy around, I'm not sure how much work we're really gonna be getting done.